So you going on your first trip to Paris, huh? <laughs> Hey, it's Trey with Trey Travels, and I have missed y'all, like, for real, for real. I know it's been a while since I've actually come on and talked to you guys, but hopefully you have been following my GoPro on the go vlogs, um, and I hope you are subscribed to this channel. If you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button before this video is over. So anyway, I have a few friends that are hitting Paris this year and they've been asking for travel tips and advice. So I thought, why not just share the wealth? So I wanted to come and give you all my top five tips for your first trip to Paris. So I'll just jump right in. Number one, learn the language learning just a few french words will go a long way when you get there know the very basics like hello goodbye excuse me thank you bonjour madame bonjour monsieur merci cool like if you if you're from new orleans you say buku all the time so just add a few more have them in your pocket um for any exchange where you might need to pull them out like if you need somebody to help you, give you directions, or even if you're talking to a server, it helps so much if you can just start the conversation with a little bit of French. So definitely learn the basics. Number two, use public transportation. The public transportation in Paris is pretty good. Like. It will get you where you need to go quick and for the low. Um, even if you're flying into the airport, you can take the metro from both airports for, I believe it's like 10 euros or just under 10 euros. I know if you fly into Orly Airport, there's even the Orly bus that's a little bit cheaper than metro. Um, but either way, it'll take you straight to the city center. And even once you get settled and you're ready to go out, hit some of the attractions, the metro is like one of the best ways to get around. All you have to do is hop on the RERC and it will take you pretty much to every attraction with a little bit of walking in between. But it's super convenient and cheap. All you have to do is get the one-way ticket and even that lasts for a few hours so if you want to hop off and then get back on I think you, they give you like two hours to use it as like a transfer so it's definitely legit all you have to do you know from wherever you are from your hotel just kind of google map it to get an idea of where you're going then once you get to your stop cross-reference it with the metro map and you'll be good to go number three as far as um, attractions and things to do definitely do not pack your day with too many of them like there's tons of stuff to do in Paris and I know I wanted to hit a lot of the tourist attractions but time was limited and I tried to pack too much into one day so don't do that like if you can do maybe one or two a day maybe three depending on um, what it is you like to do you'll find that when you get to Paris it's one of those cities where you really want to walk or stroll around and kind of take everything in and just explore so give yourself time to do that do not pack too much into one day I know I did the hop on hop on but uh bus which I would recommend um, I got a two-day pass and I think it was like $60 per person and it also came with like a free river cruise and a free night cruise so it was definitely worth the money and i even used it as my transportation to get 
pretty much around all the pairs because the half on half off plus goes into pretty much every neighborhood so i would definitely recommend it but just to have packed too much into one day also support black business in paris there are a lot of black businesses in paris there are restaurants um walking tours wine tours support them paris is a city with a very unique african history so if you can take time to explore that and if you want recommendations for a tour i definitely have a few just let me know in the comments and i'll send it to you so number four what to eat i usually don't like to give specific recommendations for any restaurant because i'm a very tough food critic so what i can say instead is to explore skip the restaurants that are in the touristy areas and walk two or three blocks towards the residential neighborhoods and that's where you'll find the gems that's where you'll find the good stuff um literally i walked maybe four or five blocks from the louvre and i found one of the best restaurants that i had while i was there um and it was just a neighborhood cafe and those are really the best places the neighborhood cafes and you'll even find markets so take some time walk around see what you can find and enjoy it you definitely want to get all of the fresh bread pastries and desserts you can find try escargot french onion soup um it's tons of stuff really just dig in and number five skip the souvenir shops the souvenir shops in paris can be expensive and you may find people selling different things on the street so you can haggle a little bit and get a good deal but i would recommend going to the local grocery store if you want to get something unique and at a good price and that's authentic hit the local grocery store that's what i did i went down to mono pricks and found a bunch of french beauty products lotions soaps um even tea i love to get tea and french mustard you know you find really unique stuff so skip the souvenir shops so that's it for my tips for your first time traveling to Paris. Let me know if you have any questions. I'd be more than happy to help. And if you've been to Paris, let me know in the comments if you feel like I missed anything. Uh, so subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more videos on Paris. See y'all.